I'd fallen in love in London with a, with a man who was the love of my life. I'd been in love with him for 50 odd years. He died seven years ago. I'm not quite over him. But I will get over him. No point in loving somebody who's dead. That's a hopeless story. I wasn't really out there as such, like about dating, <laughs> sort of. I didn't know anything about the internet at the time, obviously. I mean, a friend of mine, we, we saw the two girls. I was only 18 this time, no, just 12 years ago. But we blackened her two eyes. <laughs> a vanguard. I got two and a half years with it became quite clear that um, I wasn't the only gay in the village or the seminary or whatever you want to call it. I love prison. I, I, I didn't want this life and I think prison took me away from it all. Because I had to go home and tell my husband uh, that I was not only HIV infected but I was hepatitis C positive. Said, he said, look, I'm, I'm very sorry, uh, something along the lines of just your baby has that carefully, that it was incompatible with life. Coming out as having a fetish interest, as it, was, it, was like, it was like coming out again. It took a long time to get to the point where uh, I was even willing to say to some of the other guys that I knew that I had a fetish interest. But I also had a lot of stress, and uh, so I chose to walk away and become a yoga teacher. And that was kind of crazy, but it was probably the best thing I ever did in my life. I think it's very important that we, we never stop. But I think many love affairs make you stop. And I think that's the time to get out. I think love should be much bigger than that.